Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. So here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy, because you've spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like, folding a slice of pizza in half, <laughs> you know? Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop him. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the under. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Bad intention. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 238 pounds. Body out of Atlanta, Georgia, Williams. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? Round one. Talked about that reach advantage as you see him land a straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Nice straight punch. Oh, collar tie. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Beautiful punch. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Body kick is blocked. Misses with that punch. Clipped him with the right hand there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big oh, legs. Nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on the point. He is a master in transition. Punch over the top. They separate. Oh! Blocks 
the shot. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Good punch, Lance. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Plus right hand is true. Got the single collar tie. And now he's got the tie clinch. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Hands up. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Another big leg kick land. Oh. His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and go right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown? That was Kiki Velasquez's punch of choice. See his hands look good, a lot of volume, a lot of accuracy. Strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Dig and kick. Oh! Oh! oh. Back with that off with DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement. Perfect that shot. What a round! So a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. Final round. 
big ball sequence lands. Now we get back to range. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big body kick lands. Try to establish that jab. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Takedown defense holds up. Big leg kick land. Really exploiting. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Able to land with the left hand there. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that edge or he's going to get blasted. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing his launch. Oh, oh, sweet. Oh, he got a bad. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent. That is trying to get the rear choke. It's over. He's done, he's done! Well, and that's the type of aggressiveness and execution that is gonna endear you. The UFC president, Dana White, to the matchmakers. Make sure you keep it out of the judges' hands, and that's exactly what he did here tonight. A huge shot landed clean. Clearly, his opponent was hurt very badly, and ultimately, the finish came right then and there. Outstanding execution down the stretch tonight. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and intent. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations. Hey,